The 90s kid. Gotta go fast. Oh boy. Um. <laughs> whew, where do we begin here? So my expectations for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie as soon as I heard that it was being made. I mean, my expectations started low. Like, we're, we're talking bottom of the Mariana Trench low. That's not because I dislike Sonic. I am a big fan of, of classic Sonic games. I, I grew up with them, loved them. You can actually check out my Sonic Mania review, shameless plug. Uh, I love, I absolutely love that game. So nothing against Sonic whatsoever. I, I sort of lost interest in Sonic kind of when he made the jump into 3D, but you know, nothing against him. So I feel like I'm a pretty good judge. I, I, what is this? I mean, so starting off with the obvious, obviously Sonic the Hedgehog looks terrifying. He's definitely well into that uncanny valley. Whoever said that it was a good idea to take him and put him into our world, either A, has never heard of Sonic 2006, or B, that's the only Sonic game that they played, and they thought, yeah, that's that's the essence of Sonic. That's, that's, that'll work. I mean, nothing about this trailer sells the movie. None of the jokes or humor in this land in any way, shape, or form. In a sequentially ranked hierarchy based on level of critical importance, the disparity between us is too vast to quantify. Agent Stone? The doctor thinks you're basic. They are bottom of the barrel cliche jokes that we have heard time and time again, and they are not told in with, with, with any sort of skill whatsoever. Also, the decision to use Gangster's Paradise makes zero sense. I get the sense that they were trying to evoke 90s nostalgia just by the fact that, you know, the tagline is every hero has a genesis relating to the Sega Genesis and choosing Gangster's Paradise, but there are just so many better 90s songs that would be more fitting to this character. Off the top of my head, Can't Touch This by MC Hammer kind of comes to mind. That seems like that would be a perfect song for Sonic. Gangster's Paradise is probably one of the last songs I would have chosen. I don't know, man. What 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 is there to say about this? It's clear there's no effort put into this. You you may have seen my last video where I talked about how I kind of didn't get the Lion King remake, but at least with like the Disney live action remakes, at least there's effort put into those. You know what I mean from a design standpoint from uh, a budget standpoint, I mean, they are trying, at, at the very least, they're trying to make something impressive and, and beautiful, even if it's not the most original or fresh story. But with this Sonic the Hedgehog, I, like, I don't know what they're trying to do. I don't know if they're just trying to make a quick buck because they think kids are stupid and they'll want to watch this and that maybe people in my generation who grew up with Sonic, you know, on the on the Genesis will just want to see it out of curiosity, but I don't know. I'm at a loss. I mean, the one thing I have seen sort of consistently as a defense for this trailer uh, is uh, Jim Carrey. Seems like there's quite a few people who feel like that would be the only reason that they would go see this is to, to see Jim Carrey in this role. I gotta be honest, what was shown in the trailer didn't impress me too much. I suppose there was a time when a movie having Jim Carrey in it would have been enough for me to, like, that would have been enough at face value for me to go see that movie. But, I mean, that time would have been in the 90s, maybe early 2000s. Now it's like, eh. You know, like always, Jim Carrey is going to, to bring energy. Uh, he, that's what he's really good at, but it just... The writing doesn't look good. I mean, your actor can only do so much, given the material that he's given. So yeah, uh, all in all, the, the trailer exceeded my expectations in how crappy it was going to be. I mean, at least we got Detective Pikachu, I guess? coming down the pipeline? I don't know. The designs of the Pokemon in that are, are pretty heavily in that uncanny valley too, and a little bit dis disarming, but at the very least, some of the stuff that's in the trailer gets a chuckle out of me. So, I mean, at least it looks like they tried to write a, a story. So we got that going for us as far as video game adaptation movies go. And then we got that Mario movie coming out, which is being done by Illumination Studios. Ba -ba -na 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 -na. Oh. Oh, 
This is gonna suck.